I'm Teacher Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, and this is Angel, my little spirit doggy, and she sends you lots of healing. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Magic is in the air. This week the sun is still in passionate Aries, so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We love you. The moon will visit the signs of Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, and Leo, and Mars is definitely the star of the heavens this week. Action is in the air because it really brings a lot of movement everywhere. Oh, I'm doing poetry. Tuesday, Mars in optimistic Sagittarius will make a lucky aspect to loving Venus. You see, Mars and Venus, they go together, the yin and the yang, which will bring a lot of blessing to love lives, to financial situation, to projects, to dreams come true. Let's take advantage and put in motion any projects, any ideas, any dreams we have to manifest before Mars starts retrograding next Sunday. And then it will slow things down. So this week we plant the seeds and after that we will reap the beautiful fruits of our efforts, okay? Information is powerful, so use it. Libra, Mars connecting with a loving, beautiful Venus, your master in your communication sector, bring you charm, popularity, awareness. You're very, very positive now, and it allows you to really move forward, and you get what you want because you know who you are. At work, co-workers are impressed by your wit, imagination, Somehow it's time to keep your mind open to all new possibilities. In love, you could get some fabulous offer. If you're single, mm, you could fall in love. Maybe a romantic kind of getaway somewhere. Maybe somebody wants to bring you on the trip. I would say yes, absolutely. So get ready for something like that and you absolutely will say yes. On the weekend, you're very adventurous and you fly high like a kite, Gemini's, and other Libras and Scorpios and Cancer are definitely allies. Your magical color turquoise, lucky numbers 3 and 36, play lottery. And now is now your beautiful affirmation of this very pleasant week where we need to take action before Mars retrogrades next week, right? In life, what is, what is it to be a winner? Yeah, I love winners, I love winners. To be a winner, in my opinion, is to always do things for the better good of all. And if you don't, you're not a winner, you're a loser. But I know you're a winner and you're always going to do things for the better good of yourself, the people you love, and all of the world. Love you guys. Be good now.